Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Eurovision interview uh, coming from Oklahoma to Turin, bridging the gap distance wise. Uh, but today we are joined by Sister from Iceland. How are y'all doing today? Very good. good. How, How are, are you? you? How are you doing? I am doing great. Uh, I have been up since 3 a.m. Uh, so I've had a lot of energy drink uh, just to kind of keep going. Um, but I'm always so excited because doing these interviews and being able to do press is one of my favorite things about Eurovision. So, um, But I wanted to ask you all, um, so I know that you all have been there for a little bit. You were one of the first delegations to actually get there to Turin and, and go through rehearsals. What has the Eurovision experience looked like? How how did rehearsals go for you? Things like that. It's been great. Yeah, yeah. it's been very, very good. Yeah, we been were super nice. uh, yeah, we were super blessed with the experience to go to Amsterdam and Madrid mm -hmm. and get the pre-shows. Mm -hmm. So that really uh, prepared us to mm -hmm. what was coming and introduced us into this world of Eurovision. Mm -hmm. Coming from a very small country, we didn't really know what we were entering like especially not this huge world of eurovision and eurovision fans mm -hmm. it's been just i'm i'm such a nerd myself so i just dived into it i love it yeah it's amazing yeah, yeah. the experience the rehearsals have just uh, exceeded our expectations mm -hmm. everyone's super nice and yeah we are just very excited yeah yeah, perfect, perfect. And speaking of uh, those pre-parties, I, I know that just, I'm sure the schedulings and things like that, you weren't able to go to everything. But between Madrid and Amsterdam, which one did you like more? And, I, and not to get into like the, you know, Spain versus, you know, Netherlands, but which was the better experience for you? I mean, we come from Iceland. Yeah. We don't have warmth and sun. Yeah. So weather-wise, it's gonna be Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really good. We to just get some really sun. love the sun. But, but, the calmness and but everyone equally nice. Yes. And, and, yeah. and in that sense, the experience was just equally yes. as good. But the sun wins. Yeah, and but yeah. Yeah. And the sun wins. But at the same time, like we have a great friend in Madrid that produces this, and we were very well taken care yeah. of in, in Amsterdam. And the weather was not that great, but we loved the food we mm. had a really good restaurant so restaurant wise amsterdam was <laughs> fair enough fair enough there's pros and cons to both sides i like that answer yeah. <laughs> very miscongeniality yeah. <laughs> thanks you can't well, control yeah yeah well one thing i wanted to ask you all as well so i know when uh you were in the song but kept in national final you were uh by your first name siga beta and Elin, mm -hmm. and then you switched over to sister which is or sister uh in icelandic <laughs> sister in english so this is not the first time though that you've changed your name as a as a group is this the final sure. change we don't know <laughs> we don't know yeah maybe Probably we'll be not. mr sister <laughs> Yeah. Mr. <laughs> yeah. Or, no. Yeah. Yeah. Or no. no, we won't change it before the finals, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> but I'm okay. Uh, or at least we think not. <laughs> we might. <laughs> it's just like, you know, yeah, it's easier to be go by the name sister. Yeah. And then that than it is to go by our names. Yeah. And we're often at home in Iceland. We're called um sisters also just like, you know the a sister we travel in a herd fair enough yes and then you also have your brother there as well um and i know that you come from a family of just musicians like i know that your dad um if i think if i remember correctly is a composer your mom is a singer so would there ever be like a family collaboration i don't know what family is in icelandic but maybe that would be a change there has been some yeah. family, like we played concerts yeah. a bunch of times with our parents. Our, our dad is uh, uh, one of the best piano players in Iceland, if not the best, not that I'm biased. But, uh, <laughs> I would say unbiased. best in the yeah. world. Yeah, he's really, he's yeah. really known, well known in the jazz uh, world. So. Yeah. Yeah, so, but we would definitely do a collaboration with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And that's completely out of respect for them because they paid, paid the, the road for us to become what we are today. Yeah, yeah. it's more like you should ask them, are you, are you doing <laughs> yeah. a collaboration with your children? Yeah. 
Fair enough. Well, if I can get them for an interview, perhaps I'll ask them uh, their feelings about that collaboration. <laughs> exactly. Well, and I also wanted to ask you as well. So uh, for you, you know, we've talked about obviously you're coming in from Iceland. Uh, one of the things that I love about your entry is that there was never an English option on the table. Uh, very much like uh, Hotzridge Munsigra from 2019, you all only submitted an Icelandic version for Songvik Kepnen. Why was it so important for you to not only have this song in just Icelandic, but to only consider it in Icelandic for Eurovision? Mm, I think it's it's the same as with Hardbody. It's a very like Icelandic poetry. You mm -hmm. can't really translate it mm -hmm. in as like a meaningful way. And if you don't sing it in your own language, I, I I fear that it doesn't come as much from your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were kind of just tr uh, trusting that the message comes through. Uh, oh, which, feeling. Yeah, through yeah. our feelings of singing this very, because it's a, a beautiful poem. Mm -hmm. It's poetry. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I just like, we try just like, we have translated to English uh, just so people can understand it. Yeah. But it's also important to us for um, that we get to sing in the, uh, our language, Icelandic, for because there are so few people that speak Icelandic, and it's yeah. like it's uh, it's nice to it's nice to be able to sing it for the whole world, you yeah. know, for for the whole mm -hmm. world to hear the Icelandic language. It's yeah, fun. Icelandic is the oldest language of the Nordic. It's as close to the Vikings as you can get. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And I think that that is one of the things. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's one of the things I think that uh, really helps you. So you do also have, of course, uh, Monica Liu uh, from Lithuania, who's in your, your semifinal and kind of in the, right. the running order. Um, mm -hmm. in there. But I think that that is one thing that makes the two of y'all stick out is that you have, and I think uh, Slovenia is in there as well. Uh, like some of those. Hope. Yeah. And so there are these songs that specifically in that first semifinal are in language. And that's just so cool. Um, Cause we always have in language songs, but we don't always see a lot of them. We see like one or two in a semifinal. Um, mm -hmm. And in your semifinal, particularly, we have all of these in language songs. I'm really hoping that you all, um, all four of you can make it to the final. Cause I think that that's just gonna be such a cool diversity of language that we don't get to see a lot in Eurovision. We see a lot of English language songs. Um, yeah, and I wanted to ask, Love English. Yeah, we love English. We love yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. Get, get, don't get us wrong. It's just that when you translate our lyrics, the, the mm -hmm. things that we're singing into English, the way it's supposed to, you, lose you can't. No, you yeah. you can't yeah. sing it. Yeah. It, yeah. it doesn't really flow. It's just like yeah. really weird. The flow mm -hmm. isn't there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In order for us not to change the lyrics, so we can sing it. Right. It's very much like when, uh, so I, I sometimes listen to Disney dubs of like an English, uh, or a, sorry, not English, but like a Dutch version of like Frozen. And you listen to the lyrical line of the original lyrics and you're like, that sounds very different. So I can only imagine coming from the other way around. It, it, it doesn't flow. <laughs> it's close. It's real close, but it's just kind of like, ooh, that lyrical line. Um, but I wanted to ask you as well, and you can certainly answer this question however you want, if you want to go individually or as a group. Um, but one of my favorite questions to ask Eurovision artists, if you were asked to take your song and push it to the side and pick a different song from the Eurovision 22 catalog to sing in Turin, whose song would you sing instead? And why? Um, I don't know. Which song would I choose? Yeah, which song would you be singing? Uh, Portugal for me. Yeah, Portugal, Portugal for me. For me. <laughs> I would go with Ukraine. Okay. I so wanna, a nice little, I, nice little diversity. I want to play the. No, I just want to be part of Ukraine, so yeah. I can be there for them. Yeah, of course. Fair enough. Just <laughs> 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 Fair you enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we and not forgotten about them, and we have not forgotten no, about you. You cannot forget them. about them. Yeah, it's still of going course. on. It's still going on. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. Um, and the final question that I had uh, for you all, because um, again, I want to be mindful of your time. 
So obviously we know that you have produced music before Eurovision. I know that you're going to produce music after Eurovision, but what do your plans look like? Are there, is there a new album in the works? Is there a tour? What's coming down the pipeline? There's a new album. Yeah. Yeah. And some of it is in English. Like some of the songs are in English. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, there's just like, uh, we don't know about tour because we'll just have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. We will definitely yeah. be touring. It would be a dream come true to, to yeah. tour in uh, in the states, you know, because yeah. we love the states. Yeah. yeah. We, you, we, uh, our mom is born in California, so we're yeah. dual, dual citizens. We have dual citizenship, so we can move to really between Iceland mm -hmm. and America. Gotcha. Well, if you happen to come down around the Texas, Oklahoma area, let me know. I'll do some free promotion for you. Thank you. We will. We will. Thank you. But I'm so sorry. We, our producer is like telling us that we need to go. Yep. Yep. We love talking to you. Yeah, it was so yes. nice. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Us. Thank you. Yeah. And we are wishing you the best of luck uh, in that semifinal, in the first semifinal. So everyone, make sure that you tune in. Make sure that you support Sister. Um, and I mean, as always, make sure that you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And also follow Sister on all that social media, Spotify, iTunes. Make sure you stream their music too, all right? But thank, thank you so you. much for your time. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Bye. Bye.